Welcome to Oil Country, Edmonton, Alberta. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Puck drop now just moments away for the first game of the season. Everybody's still got a shot at this point, right? Well, for the most part, there's some that that shot is a long way down the road. But real everybody, talk, real everybody talk. feels like they've got a level footing here to get started. Two teams hungry for two points, and we are ready to drop the puck. The Oilers start with possession as we are now underway. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Quick pass to Larson. St. Petersburg's got control of it now from their own end. Moves the puck. Big open ice hit. Slides it quickly to Dreisaitl. From the left side, takes it at center. And a smart heads-up read to come up with the puck. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Helm. Takes the pass with the stop. Edmonton's got it in the defensive zone. And now it's over to Toffoli. Now over to McDavid. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. He scores! A quick goal here as the whole crowd buzzes. They are. You can tell the players are excited here with the early goal. You can expect the coaches to be telling them to keep pushing the pace on the road team. Really good work in the offensive zone here. As the shooter keeps moving around till he finds the open spot. In this case, it's goal. He's in the high slot and he hammers it home. Edmonton's on the board here, and they've got the home crowd right into it early. Aggressively out of the gate. They didn't give the opponent any time to get settled at all. I love their start. Quick feed to chase on. Here they are on the attack. Moves it quickly over to chase on. Point-to-point point pass. Moves the puck down low. And the puck leaves the offensive zone. They'll be forced to tag up. Moves it to Corrali. Puck moved over to Hickey. Pass stolen in the open ice. Here's a short pass to Russell. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it along the wall. And the officials are calling a delayed penalty here. Looks like a trip. Here comes the call from the official. Tripped him up, and he's off to the box for it, Ray. Reaching out for the puck to get your stick into his feet. This is the consequence. St. Petersburg sending their power play unit out for the first time tonight. Well, they've gotten themselves to within one. Now they've got a power play opportunity to try and even the score. The best power plays always work when the feet and the puck are moving at the same time. Stopped by the goaltender. We're still in the early stages of this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Off the try, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Puck dumped in. Quick pass to Maroon. Gerard's got it in the defensive end. Slides it across. Puts it on net. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Clearing attempt. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it against the wall. Edmonton's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice, coughs up the puck. Looking to break out here on the power play. And now he angles it across to Granlin. Smart defensive play there. The Bears have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And he passes it up ahead to Hartman. Takes the feed. And that one's stopped. Gets it out of his own end. St. Petersburg's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Big hit. Edmonton's got it now. Stones him in front. Corrales got it across the line. 
Quick feed to Kapanen. Off target! Oh, man, he's frustrated with himself. He's got to get that on the net. And manages to clear the zone. The Bears will play the puck from behind the net. Slides the pass over to Kapanen. The Oilers have possession shorthanded. Got to give the penalty killers a lot of credit as the penalty expires. Oh, they're going to rule that one. A chance to even the score here. They didn't get it. Scores! His second of the night. Well, things go well for you if you score multiple times in a game. This has been a terrific night for him. When you get into this position, that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry. You don't have much time to think about it. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. Edmonton's been the better team here over the last few minutes, increasing their lead to two. Puck grab by Kleppbaum. And he slides it quickly to Toffoli. Let's it go! And that goes off a player in front. And now he moves it to Carlson. And that's broken up with a stick in front. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Has dropped and we are back underway. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Long reach breaks up the momentum. McDavid's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. And now he tries to get it across to Maroon. Big time defensive play. Down here in the game, you've got to make something happen. They're forcing it a bit. Man, when you got two goals, it's your night. You want to look for a third one. He's got the puck in the offensive zone again. And a poke check knocks the puck away. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Wanted to get in just a little closer. Puck slides off his stick, and that's it for the chance. Can't get it to go. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Picks off the pass. Takes the pass from the left wing. Pass back to the point. Wrist shot from the slot. Oh, what a save in front. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Moves it quickly over to Girardi. Knocked away. That goes wide. Works it across to Neal. Offside the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the blue line. It's been a great night for him. He's got two goals already, but you know he'd love to pull a hat trick out of see if he can get a third one. Is the third the easiest or the hardest? Oh, it's the hardest for sure. You, Who knows if you're going to get another, another chance in a game. And that one's picked off. Carries it across the line. Puck lands right back onto the blade. Gets in front of it. Sends the pass over. What a steal in his own end. Blocker save. And now he moves it quickly to Pugliarvi. And that's intercepted. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And down he goes as the puck goes free. And that's taken by the defense. Tries to get it over to Bouchard. Taken down and the officials caught it. Quick whistle stops the play. Pretty cut and dry with a tripping call here. Yeah, but James, every player argues the tripping call because you feel like your stick was in the right place and the other guy stepped on it. Never your fault. And it looked like there was some late moment lobbying there and it didn't yeah, work. it doesn't work. No, though. none. Man advantage takes to the ice. It's our first opportunity to get a glance at the special teams unit. They've worked on the power play a lot in practice over the last couple of days. This is their first one tonight, and they'll want to execute what they've worked on, which is to win the draw and start moving the puck. Denied by the blocker. Dishes it to Carlson. Handles the pass from his goalie. Gets it out of his own end. And uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. St. Petersburg's got control of the puck. Poked away from danger. Edmonton's got the puck. Over the line they come. Here he is in front! And he gets a paddle on that one. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. 2-0 is the score.
Granlin's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Huge steal in his own end. And manages to clear the zone. Great hustle to come up with the puck. Blocked by the defender. Nice play. With the stop. Here's a backhander. There's another stop. Yeah, he gets out on top of the shooter. There's really nowhere for that puck to go. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. Maintains possession. Scrum ensues along the boards. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kluffbaum. Passes on over to Kluffbaum. Rocks him on the play. And now it's over to Helm. Solid hit on that play. St. Petersburg's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Stopping the play. Oh, that's a good look from the guys in the truck there. Look how he lines them up, times it perfectly, and throws his shoulder right through them. Edmonton's capitalized on their offensive abilities here in this first period. Carlson's won the draw here in the open ice. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. St. Petersburg's got possession while undermanned. Picked up along the wall by Hartman. And I think he's seen enough because he stops the play when covering up the puck. Oh, well, guys are going to be bent over trying to gasp for breath. They'll be in favor of that move. The Oilers have had way more chances offensively, and as a result, they're leading in this one. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. And a solid effort by the penalty killers as we are back to even strength. Well, the penalty killers can go back to the bench knowing they did their job. Score remains the same as it was when that penalty was taken. Edmonton's got control of it now from their own end. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. Sends it over to Girardi. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. The Bears gain control of the puck against the wall. And the puck escapes the zone, and they'll be forced to tag up. Hangs onto the puck. And a great save! Picked up along the boards by Granlin. Here's a backhand! Save made by the goalie. Nice pass. Stopped by the goaltender. I wanted to get another look at this one, James. This looks like it hurts. I'm glad I'm in a suit here. Here in the late goings of the period, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Fires it into the offensive zone. Pass to Hickey, and that's a paddling from the goaltender. Dead center, excellent save. St. Petersburg's gained possession along the boards. Moves it to Hartman. Comes up with a steal. He turns that puck over, but I get it. He's trying to make something happen while his team is behind. Moves it on over to Hartman. Oh, and a great defensive play there. Comes up with a stop. Passes it over to Nemestikov. Houdon's got it into offensive territory. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. From off the wall and onto a stick. St. Petersburg's got the puck in their own end. Looks to make a play over to Kapanen. Here's a chance right out in front. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Gets that puck back on a stick. Feeds the puck to Dreisaitl. And now he angles it across to Toffoli. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Play whistle dead because of an offside. Edmonton's execution has been on point so far here in this first period. Off the draw, and he ties up his opponent. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Defoley's got it to the side. Redirect in front, misses on the redirect. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. And a beautiful stop by the glove.
Edmonton's been the better team here in this first period. More shots and more goals. Just a better all-around execution. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. Pushes it across to Neal. Well, this one's so far living up to the hype as the first period comes to an end. 2-0 after 20 minutes of play as both teams make their way to the room. You know someone in your community who goes the extra mile to help out? Nominations for our team player awards are available in the concourse in the lower seating level. And as both teams head to their respective rooms, two more periods still to come. We're looking forward to it here on EA Sports. Clean sheet of ice, period two is set to go. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Ray, what's your assessment of the game to this point? Edmonton's done virtually everything right in that first period. They had the puck the whole time. They're winning by two, and they're in really good shape here. And now he passes up to Kasha. Move to the middle, taken by Dreisaitl. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. And we've got a two-on-one. Here's a shot. Oh, what a stop. Allen's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. The Oilers continue to lead here in this second period, looking strong offensively. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Toffoli. Moves it around along the half wall. Stretches one out to Helm. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Handles the puck. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Quick pass to Toffoli. Sends a pass over. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. He scores! Three goals, the hat trick's in the bag, here come the hat. What a great feeling as this place is jumping. Get to the net, that's where the goals are. The rebound sits there and he puts it away. anybody even the players realize how much has to go right to get three goals in one game receives the pass hop has got it along the wing and they'll be forced to regroup as the puck escapes the offensive end girardi's taking it from his own end quick feed to corelli and makes the save Edmonton's been all over them here in this second period. Just look at the score, and they have dominated in the shot clock, too. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Russell. Slides the puck over. And now he moves it to Nurse. And now he tries to get it across to Nugent Hopkins. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Hoffman. Puck picked up by Hartman. To his teammate! 
Edmonton's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Puck scooped up by Corrali. Edmonton's ready to go on the attack. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the wall. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Neal. Jostling for the puck, but still moves away. Right in the open ice, that one's picked off. The Oilers have done an outstanding job anticipating where the puck is going to... He scores! They might as well keep that light on behind the goaltender. Man, again? That's four straight for them here. They have just totally taken over this game. Really nice play. Quick pass on the tape and into the net. So quickly the goalie can't get closed up and make the save. Oilers have put on an impressive offensive display, but equally, their defensive performance, too. They look like they're from a different league. They've dominated this game through most of the first two periods. Puts it towards the net, and that one's turned away. Moves it over to Nemestikov. Right to the middle, and that one's broken up by a great defensive play. And he scores! He's tight to the net. He doesn't have much time. And that snapshot beats the goaltender from the low slot. St. Petersburg's lit the lamp. Is this something to build on now? It's their only hope. I mean, they, they haven't had many shots on goal, so they're not had the puck in the offensive zone very much, but I, I think they've got to change their mindset here and be more aggressive. Shot! Puts it off the post! Taken along the wall by Gerard. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Dumps it in. The Bears have it against the wall. Tries to get it to Maroon. Moves it to Carlson. Right in the slot! And that one's broken up! And he coughs it up with the pass! Nice feed from the goaltender. And now it's over to chase on. Gives it right back. Poked away! Right on the doorstep! And that's picked off in front! Here they come on the attack. Puck grabbed by chase on. Tries to get it out of their own end. And that's blocked at the blue line. Now, problem with this, James, is everybody's heading out of the zone. Now they've got to regroup, get back to their own defensive position. Smith Pelly's got it along the boards. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. That eyes up on the play. Taken by Nugent Hopkins. Moves the puck across to Marlowe. St. Petersburg's gained possession along the boards. And now he angles it across to Kasha. Moved out in front! Stopped by the blocker. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Grabbed along the board by Udall. Denies him! After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. Oh, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. He's going off for tripping, and doesn't everybody feel like they're innocent on a trip? You feel like you're innocent on most every penalty, but this one always feels like, nah, did you really have to call it? Another special teams opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. The best power plays are the ones that are successful after they failed. They haven't been very good tonight, but you have to wash that away, not let it affect the current power play. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Slides the puck across to Nugent Hopkins. Here's a short pass to Carrick. Let's it go from the slot. Makes the save. Tempers flaring here. Yeah, but it's got the goalie involved too, which is the rarest of opportunities here. Neil's looking around for somebody to fight. He's going to have to go and fill the dance card somewhere else. Edmonton's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. McDavid's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Why? You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. Slides it back to the blue line. 
And that's broken up with a stick in front. And he slides it quickly to Marlowe. Gives them nothing in front. Under pressure, chance to get it out. Always a killer if he doesn't get this puck out. And now it's grabbed by Nugent Hopkins. Wide! He's off! Off target! Scooped up along the wall by Nugent Hopkins. The Bears have it behind the net. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Unable to reach that one. Dreisaitl's gliding the puck along the line. Shot in front! Oh, and he misses an opportunity there. Looking to be too perfect. Get it on the net. You've got a better chance to squeak one through the goaltender than if you miss it outside the net. From the top of the offensive zone here. Quick pass to Clefbaum. Centering pass! And that's picked off. This has been a heck of a shift for them. They've got them hemmed into the offensive zone. Now they can carry the puck around as the defenders are just going to play a tight box. They look exhausted. Edmonton's dominated right from the start. Their offense clicking on all cylinders, and they lead here in the second. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Denied by the goaltender. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's a shot. Comes up with the stop. Picked up along the wall by Kara. And too much traffic in front. Watch that one. Blocker saved by the goalkeeper. Save is good. Better yet that that rebound doesn't stay in front of the net. It's over to safety in the corner. Takes a hit. He goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. They're able to wind the clock down a little bit here. They don't score on that power play. I don't know that it's particularly important. They don't want to give up anything because they've got such a large lead. They want to run this in on cruise control. The Oilers have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. Puck picked up by Nurse. Shot on the deflection. Denied by the goaltender. Icing is called, stopping the play dead. Edmonton said the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. Granlin's won the draw. Puck scooped up by Nurse. Stopped by the goaltender. Now he slides it up to Kapanen. Great timing to come up with the interception. Edmonton's had great stick positioning for most of the night. They don't have the puck. They get it back really quickly. And makes the save. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. Lays the body. It's a two-on-one. Sends it over. Denies it in front. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. That was a big hit. You've got to be willing to put your own body on the line to make a hit like that. Edmonton's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. Center's jammed up, and the winger grabs the puck. And he gains the zone here. Jones looks around, and a stick in the lane ends that threat. Puck grabbed by Wheel, and he comes up with it. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Here comes the call. Looks like tripping the call. Sometimes they're lazy, sometimes they're just bad luck. Another scoring opportunity looms here. Doesn't matter whether you've had one or ten power plays. The fundamentals of it are the same. Win the draw, get the puck to the point, try and spread the penalty killers out. St. Petersburg's got the puck shorthanded. Gets it out of his own end. Clefbaum's got it in the offensive end. And now he moves it to Dreisaitl. Big time stop there. Edmonton's got possession here. He scores! Uh, the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. This is the default move for the goaltender here. It's like every shot, he drops into the butterfly. He gets beaten clean here.
Edmonton's refused to let up that chokehold here in the late stages of this second period. Total control of the hockey game from the beginning, and they have piled it on here in the middle frame. Slides the puck near the front of the net. Takes the feed at the point. Takes the feed. Quick feed to Girardi. Taken by Dreisaitl. Moves it quickly over to Toffoli. The Bears gain possession along the wall. And that's taken by the defense. We get a whistle and they'll do it all over at the other end. Yeah, of course, the team that iced the puck isn't able to change players. A rule put in a couple of seasons ago. The Oilers are on cruise control here in the second. They have absolutely dominated. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. Let's the wrister go. Turns it away. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. 55 seconds to go. And now he tries to get it across to Neal. Move to the middle. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play. If you're not sure what's going on, freeze the puck. Edmonton's been dominating at all ends of the ice, especially offensively here late in the second. Good read by the winger as the two centers tie up. Here's a shot. He scores! A buzzer beater before the end of the frame. Well, this would be a great piece of video for the coaches to show in the intermission how they got after the puck. They stayed with it and scored so late in this period. Offensive Volcano continues to erupt here in the second period. They look like a juggernaut. They're running into the second intermission with a large lead. Moose to Marlowe. Along the half wall with the puck. A chance from the slot. He scores! I thought they were going to run out of time here, Jason. This is a terrific time to strike. You now you carry over the intermission. You come out for the next period feeling really good about yourself. If you're the goalie here, you just want to move as quick as you can. Maybe it'll hit you, but it's so close to the net that passes on the tape and off the tape in a hurry. Edmonton's offensive performance is still in full effect here, even in the late stages of this period. They haven't taken their foot off the gas pedal yet. They are still pushing for more offense. Some great thievery in the open ice. And that's all she wrote on period number two in this one. 19 minutes, 56 seconds. Third period is just around the corner, so don't even think about putting that controller down. of the goaltenders. You ever wonder in a blowout why the goalie leaving skates way faster than the guy coming in? And they are ready to drop the puck on period number three. Well, this has been an absolute blowout to the first two periods as we get underway here in the third. Ray Ferraro is between the benches at ice level. Ray, we've got 40 minutes played so far. How have you viewed things? St. Petersburg's players have been a turnover machine tonight. Every time they have it, it seems like they force it into an area where they lose it. They lose the puck. They're losing the game. Toffoli's going to play it against the half wall. Back to the point it goes. And they can't connect. Directed over to Kasha. Huge hit! Oh, he got rattled hard. 
not only that, he dropped his stick. Now he's got to collect himself and go pick up his twig as well. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Knocked away. St. Petersburg's got possession at center. The Oilers go to work on offense. A little bumping around, but still maintains possession. They've got numbers. Here's the pass. Wow. Scores on the rebound. He pops it. You want money? You go to the bank. You want bread? You go to the store. You want goals? You get into the net. The rebound's there. He puts it away. The Bears have a long way to go still here in the third. I guess you get your scores out there and you try and keep climbing out of a hole, but it's not very pretty right now. By number 24, experience. Puts it up front from the slot. Off the post. And he gets the puck right back. Moves the puck. Here's a short pass to Hickey. Hoffman's carrying it ahead. Comes up with the steal. The Oilers have been the better team all night long, and their positioning has been exceptional. They keep taking the puck away. Oh, and that goes wide. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Quick pass to Hartman, and that's blocked. Slides the puck across to chase on. And now it's grabbed by Puyo Yarby. Ahead of steam now towards the front. And it's in. He scores. Gets his own rebound. I always found this to be a real difficult spot to put a player into. You bring in a relief goaltender, he's cold. Now he's got to keep the game static. He doesn't provide the save here. Edmonton's goal-scoring abilities have been on full display so far this evening and here in the third. Really impressive display. They've moved the puck well, skated, really forecheck. Well, there's really nothing they haven't done tonight. Quick feed to Neal. And they'll dump it in. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the wall. Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. Neal's exploring options with the puck. Puck picked up by Puyo Yarby. And that goes wide. Most dangerous place on the ice, and he can't capitalize. That's moved up ahead and makes the routine save. Houdon's moving the puck through his own zone. Centering pass, puts it on net, and he misses. That's a good scoring opportunity. He doesn't capitalize on a great A chance. Takes the feed in the middle of the ice. Now a quick pass to Granlin. Rocks him. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. Well, that's the end of his shift. Man, James, he took a huge hit, slowly getting himself to the bench where he can get tended to by the trainer. Granlin's been in some discomfort since he took this hit, a clean hit right through the body. Granlin's heading down the tunnel accompanied by the training staff. Looks like some kind of arm injury. That could be costly. We'll wait to see what sort of update we'll get from the team's media department. Puck scooped up by Kleppbaum. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. The goaltender is quickly off to his bench to get the extra attacker out. And the officials will pass the sentence here. Sin bin bound for tripping. I always hated taking tripping penalties. It always felt like there was something I could have done better than that. The power play unit goes right back to work. Well, you can tell these guys must be bubbling with confidence here, James, because they've already scored on the power play tonight, and so they get another chance. They must feel good they have the formula tonight. Off a stick. Three seconds. Takes the pass. Tries to get the puck over to Kara. And he loses control of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Shattenkirk. And here's the pass to Hartman. And it's a quick pass to Hickey. And that one's broken up by a great defensive play. Puck grabbed by Hartman. The Bears gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Let's it go. And there's the save.
Edmonton's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Moves the puck to Nugent Hopkins. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Moves it to McDavid. Moves it up. Blasts it, and that's blocked away. St. Petersburg's gained possession along the boards. Nice dish from the left wing. Here's a short pass to Helm. Shuts him down. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. We got a penalty coming up here as the officials blow the play dead. And he's heading to the box for two for tripping on this one. This is such a bad penalty to take because you put yourself yeah. in a bad spot. A player falls down, now you're cooked. You go to the box. Well, he's got two minutes to think about it now. Huge opportunity for the power play as they'll start with a five on three. Biggest problem a five on three power play has is that everybody realizes what a great advantage it is. So everybody stands there waiting to shoot the puck. Nothing happened. Oh, getting a little cheeky there. Carlson's turning this challenge down. That's not part of his game. Ray, maybe you can get a better look down at ringside, but it looks like uh, it'll be equal balance going to the sin bin here. Oftentimes when there's a mess like this, the officials will hand one penalty out to each side, try and settle everything down. A huge opportunity for the power play unit here. A five on three as we get set to drop the puck. Guaranteed, James, the last thing the coach said to these guys coming out for the five on three is be urgent. Be and that's another power play marker. Oh, the power play coach is going to be pumped here. They have done some extra work on the power play over the last 10 days or so. Really paying off tonight. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. having a lot of fun out there tonight but Ray I can imagine it's a different story on the other side of the bench yeah half the guys out here are having fun the other half this game can't end quick enough taken by Toffoli the Bears have possession shorthanded good defensive effort to poke it away and he slides it quickly to McDavid and he makes the save takes that pass back at the point what a steal in his own end puts it on net from the point and that goes off a player in front Heads deep inside the offensive zone. Wide of the net. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Quick pass to Toffoli. Hammers one from the point. Can't get it to go. And manages to clear the zone. Man, they've worked the puck around so well on this shift. They've totally worn out the defending team. About two things are going to happen here, it seems like. They're going to either take a penalty or they're going to give up a goal. This is a great shift. Edmonton's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period of big time. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender. Big stop by the keeper. Moves with the puck in the corner. Moves the... He scores! There it is! His first in the NHL! Oh, you will never forget it. The first time you score a goal in the National Hockey League. and this bench still buzzing about what we just saw here. Uh, everybody is so excited when somebody gets their first goal. You always remember yours. This kid will never forget it. Nugent Hopkins wins it in the neutral zone. Marlowe's got it in the offensive zone. Right out in front and forces a huge turnover here with the steal. Gobbles that puck up with his chest. 
and there's the whistle giving him a chance to exhale. I remember sitting on the bench when I got my first NHL goal in the Montreal form. I could barely sit still. I was so excited. I'm sure he feels the same way. Uh, you can just see he's trying to keep the poker face going here, Ray. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Kasha. Just wide. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Picked up along the boards by Jason. Takes it across the blue line. There's a shot with the stop. Edmonton's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Wheels want a big draw on their own end. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it against the wall. Quick feed to Flurry. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Feeds the puck to Cluffbaum. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Granlin's absence will continue for the rest of the evening. He's just been ruled out by the training staff. Thanks, Ray. We'll see how this impacts the game now going forward. Off the try, and a nice job locking up his opponent. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Carries it in. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. McDavid's in good position to create a scoring chance, but he bobbles the puck and the chance is gone. Stopped by the goaltender. Our attendance, another sold out game. The team would like to thank you for your continued overwhelming support. Edmonton's offense has been the story tonight, leading big time here in this third period. Kara's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Through center along the wing. Excellent stick work on the play. With possession along the wall. Moves it quickly over to Neal. Huge steal in his own end. He's got to read the scene much better than that. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. There's the whistle, and a penalty is coming up on this one. Neal's getting tossed with a game misconduct. Uh, certainly no way to come back from this. The officials made his decision. And you got to chew on this as you skate by your teammates and out of the rink. You almost wonder if there could be further supplemental discipline based on that. Corrales won the draw here in the offensive zone. Oh, comes up with a stop. And a game misconduct. Time of the penalty, 14 minutes, 48 seconds. Edmonton's showing no signs of slowing down here in this third period up big time. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Drives it to the front of the net. And now it's grabbed by Kara. Gets it out of his own end. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Icing's the call. You know the coaching staff's not going to love that one. Well, I can think of about three plays he could have made other than that one, but hey, that's the way it goes. Now you need your centerman to win a draw. The Oilers are going to want to bring this big lead home late in the third. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. Tries to get this man advantage going from their own end now. Picked off in the open ice. And manages to clear the zone. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the boards. The Bears pick up the puck here in the neutral zone. Puck picked up by Larson. Gets it out of his own end. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it along the wall. Passes the puck over to Kapanen. Takes the feed from the left side. Kapanen's got it against the boards. Edmonton's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. Takes it at center. And that carries off a stick. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And that one stopped. Edmonton's put in one of their most complete efforts that we have seen in quite some time. Up big time late in this third. Off the draw and he ties up his opponent. 
Passes right to the front. Poked away by the goaltender. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. And now it's over to Hartman. And manages to clear the zone. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. And now he angles it across to Nurse. Slides it across to Russell. Into the middle of the neutral zone. Move to the middle. Just misses. He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. Gets it out of his own end. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Angles it over to Wheel. Shoots it. Denied by the blocker. Taken along the wall by Hartman. Strong defensive effort. St. Petersburg's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Big time defensive play. And manages to clear the zone. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the wall. Takes that one right in the logo. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. Edmonton's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Moves it to Shattenkirk. And now he moves it to Kapanen. Sends it out right in front. And that's picked off in front. Gets it out of his own end. St. Petersburg's gained possession along the boards. And now he tries to get it across to Nemestikov. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Trying to get the puck out of harm's way. And it stays in. Sends it over to Nugent Hopkins. With some momentum driving towards the net. Here's a short pass to Hoffman. Throws it in. Slides it diagonally to Kapanen. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Nemestikov. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. And manages to clear the zone. From their own end as they get a fresh set of legs here for this man advantage. Puck scooped up by Nurse. Gets it out of his own end. St. Petersburg's got a hold of it against the wall. And now it's over to Wheel. And now he angles it across to Hartman. Edmonton's got possession while undermanned. And manages to clear the zone. Sends one up to Hartman. Puck grabbed by Kara. There's an offside stopping the clock late in this one. The Oilers wanted to focus on putting more pucks on net going into tonight's game. They have done just that and then some here in the third. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Dumped into the cross side. St. Petersburg's got the puck along the boards. Almost down to the final minute here in this third. Quick pass to Gerard. Takes the feed. Look out, a two-on-one. Stopped by the blocker. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. Let's it go. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Gets it out of his own end. St. Petersburg's got the puck behind the net. Sends the pass over. Edmonton's got possession at center. On the attack along the boards. Shot gets in front of it. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Throws one up to Wheel. And there's the whistle. Another opportunity to look up at the scoreboard again. Yeah, unfortunately for the one team, it's not very good. This game does not need any more whistles. Thanks to the guys in the truck, we get a great look at that hit again. He slammed him into the wall. That one hurt. Edmonton's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Taken by Nurse. And he stands tall in goal. Quick feed to Hartman. Kasha's gaining momentum. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Well, that must have felt like forever for the penalty killers, but they come up huge, refusing to allow a goal as the major penalty expires. Stopped by the goaltender. I don't know what they're thinking on the bench, but they must be disappointed. They just let five minutes of power play time slide by, and they've got nothing to show for it. And we are all over with this one. Ray simply put in this one, dominant. Yeah, coaches love this too because they get to play their whole bench, spread everybody out, and the best part is when you go back to the locker room, everybody feels like they had a part of this blowout win.
And that'll do it for Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Thank you.